Hi you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And we're the Lover's Passport. We are out here at Trona Pinnacles. We're gonna be exploring a couple of our favorite little day hikes and day adventures out here. Trona Pinnacles, that's about it. It it has it's about a, probably a mile wide filled with tons of pinnacles. You can go explore the pinnacles for sure. There's all kinds of interesting shapes and uh, astrophotography here is really really cool. Especially if you guys are here during Milky Way season and right now there is no moon out. So we got some really really fun shots this morning, but highly recommend doing that if you do make it out here. And it is BLM land, so that's always really nice since you can just disperse camp out here and not really have to worry about like getting a campsite or, I mean, mm. you have to worry about it if it's busy, but like you don't have to worry about the red tape of like reservations and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, we are going to cook up some breakfast, explore the pinnacles a little bit, and we might make it out to Red Rock State Park. It is another spot on the way out to the Eastern Sierra, seeing the Alabama hills, and hopefully that the Eastern Sierra is covered with snow. Our buddies Jeremy over there at Travel Freak, follow him. And at Chris Menyo over there, follow him too. They're both awesome. Look at Lone Pine Peak and Mount Whitney. So we're gonna be shooting these tomorrow morning and hopefully having a dope campfire. <laughs> adventure around the Eastern Sierras. Yes, yesterday was probably one of the most chill days we've ever had. Um, 
out on a trip. It was so nice to just kick it. Yesterday, like you saw, we shot sunrise at Trona Pinnacles, and then from there we drove around, did a bunch of off-roading, and went over to Red Rock State There's like, Park. It, I think it took us an hour, hour and 15 minutes to off-road from um, from Trona Pinnacles to Red Rock State Park, uh, but it was a really fun little road just to like, you know, spice up the exploration out here. You, there is an actual road that you can cross over to after the six miles in on dirt road to get to Toronto Pinnacles. But this way was a lot more fun. It was actually just the, the way that Google Maps ended up taking us. If you have Verizon, you're gonna have great cell reception mm. at the Toronto Pinnacles. But the ref, rest of us who were here had T-Mobile, AT&T, and I think it's just that, T-Mobile and AT&T, and we didn't get jack so yeah and trona pinnacles is dog friendly you can bring your dogs you can go off-roading there atvs we saw a bunch of different people out there so many dogs. and then red rocks was a really cool spot it's like a nice little stop on the way back from death valley or if you're way on your way out to the alabama hills i think the best two times to go would be during sunrise or sunset just because it does get really hot there yeah it got really hot but i think it's definitely more of a sunset spot than a sunrise spot because the rocks get really red when it's sunsetting over near Hagen Canyon. And we were there in midday, so it kind of looked a little washed out, but super cool like rock mm. formations. There's a little nature trail that's about a mile, mile point two or something that you can go all the way around. Since we wanted to get a good campsite here at Alabama Hills, we decided not to do it. So we were just putzing around over there, but um, from Red Rock Canyon State Park to Alabama Hills, which is right right in Lone Pine, California. It takes about another hour, hour and 15 minutes. Um, super easy drive. If you continue up north from Lone Pine, you'll hit like Big Pine and Bishop and Mammoth Lakes. So it, you're pretty close to a lot of different things mm -hmm. here. And you're also close if you're into backpacking. You're right in Whitney Portal, so like where Mount Whitney is. Um, it's also the same area as like Mount Langley, a bunch mm -hmm. of the 14ers out here. So uh, it's just a really nice like area to camp at because it's so central to a lot of adventures out here. Yeah, we were the main goal of this trip was to shoot a bunch of astrophotography and just, you know, kick it, get out here. We had a couple things to shoot for our um for our, instagram. for our instagram but it was still a great trip to get out here if you guys are in the area on the way out to mammoth or from death valley or even if you're doing some backpacking out here highly recommend checking out those three spots wouldn't do a full weekend at any of them but a day trip or a good morning or a good evening like a sunset time is gorgeous the way the light hits toronto pinnacles red rocks and alabama hills are and all amazing. I'll say Alabama Hills is more of a sunrise spot rather than a sunset spot. So it's perfect if you're just doing like sunset or red rock and then going here and doing sunrise. So um, that's, it's definitely more of a sunrise spot. Although you can get really nice lighting for golden hour. Mm -hmm. um, most of our photography we do during sunset or sunrise here. Um, in terms of astrophotography, it's really, really cool because this area is pretty dark. Um, and it's Milky Way season. Mm. So we were up at 3 a.m. this morning shooting astrophotography and playing around with some lan lanterns and lights and whatnot. And we'll put some of those images right here. Yeah, if you guys want to see more tips for astrophotography, <laughs> let us know down in the comments. We would, we're would we still new to astrophotography, but we've learned a ton over the past year. Three things right off the bat if you're interested in doing astrophotography. Download PhotoPills. It's an app. It'll tell you where the Milky Way is, when the best time to shoot it is. If you're doing like a long exposure, like eight minutes, it'll do the math for you. So if so you're shooting your at settings. Yes, yeah, yeah. so it'll really help you with the settings. So number one would be PhotoPills. Number two would say get a nice tripod, something sturdy that's not going to blow around in the wind that you can sit there. You're never going to be able to capture the Milky Way yeah. handheld. And we get a lot of questions about which one we use. We use the Peak Design Travel Tripod and we'll mm -hmm. link it down below for you. It is an investment. It's it's kind of expensive, best but tripod we have not had to replace it since, and it has like a lifetime warranty or something like Especially that. Especially so. if you're a hiker, a backpacker, and you want something lightweight and super compact, it's a great thing that you we bring on every single hike we go on because we can slip it in the side. And it's carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. And the third thing I would say to do for astrophotography is try and shoot at your lowest focal length and get a really, really 
big aperture, like a 1.8 or a 2.8. You can do an f4, but try and get down as low as you can. Those are three little tips. There's a bunch of tips that we can share with you guys. Let us know if you'd like to see that in the future. We also talk a little bit more about astrophotography in our uh, travel photography ebook, mm -hmm. which we'll link down below for you as well. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really cool spot to do astro. As well, I think you could probably get some good stuff at Toronto Pinnacles too. Oh yeah, <clears throat> we we did that as well the day before, which is why we're very tired. If you're into any sort of astrophotography, camping, hiking, you would definitely check out these three spots while you're on your way to do other adventures. Anyway, we showed you earlier this week what it was like on the part-time content creator during our midweek, which is when we're at our jobs, when we're trying to do content creation, and. Um, connect with all of you guys and then this is what our weekends usually look like sometimes there's more hikes involved sometimes there's more um, sometimes there's more backpacking trips usually we're off the grid but this is what we love to do on the weekends just spend some time out here we're hanging out with two of our buddies we met out here travel freak Jeremy and at Chris Muno Chris so if you guys want to check out their pages we'll go ahead and link them down below too they are awesome photographers as well and that is it for this little weekend vlog around the Eastern Sierra. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And we'll see you guys in the next adventure.